Boost your English. Mastering limiting modifiers. Hello, language learners. Today, we're delving into the vibrant world of English grammar, with a special focus on limiting modifiers. These are small but mighty elements that can greatly impact the clarity of your sentences. By mastering the usage of limiting modifiers, we can avoid misunderstandings and enhance our English communication skills. Before we get into examples, let's start by understanding what limiting modifiers are. Limiting modifiers are words or phrases that restrict or specify the scope of the word they're modifying. Some common examples include only, even, just, nearly, merely, and so on. Here's a simple sentence with a limiting modifier. I only eat vegetables. In this sentence, only is the limiting modifier. It's restricting the types of food that I eat to vegetables only. Sometimes, placing the limiting modifier in the wrong place can lead to ambiguity or even completely change the meaning of the sentence. Consider this sentence. I only have three dollars. In this sentence, the limiting modifier only is correctly placed. It means I have no more than three dollars. But what if we misplace the limiting modifier? I have only three dollars. In this sentence, it implies that having three dollars is a disappointing or inadequate amount, which may not be the speaker's intended meaning. Learning to correctly place your limiting modifiers can make your sentences clearer and more precise. Let's take a look at some examples. Incorrect. I just will eat the apple. Correct. I will just eat the apple. In the correct sentence, just limits the action to eating the apple, suggesting the speaker will not do anything else with it. Incorrect. I have even two cats. Correct. I even have two cats. In the correct sentence, even, emphasizes that having two cats is an additional or surprising fact. That wraps up our lesson on limiting modifiers. Remember, these are powerful tools to add specificity to your sentences, but they can also create confusion when misplaced. So, always pay attention to where you're placing your limiting modifiers. Keep practicing, and soon, it'll become second nature. We hope you found this video helpful. Until next time, keep exploring the beautiful nuances of the English language.